Walt Whitman's poem, From Song of Myself, relates to the book Flatland in two big ways. The first way is equality. You can't go on repressing the lesser sided forever. Color is equality. This is called chromatism, a taboo practice in Flatland. I just figured out Remove how to do it. Remove that coloration at once. Dad! Son, society makes laws for a reason. You're old enough to know that that's if against the law. If I was a circle, I could change the law. Their shape in Flatland distinguishes class. The more sides you have, the more powerful you are, circles being the most powerful. Circles simply have lots and lots of sides. Some have 36, some have 72, 360. Now those are the ones that are the closest to the uh, divine circularity that we all aspire to. However, you can see inside the Flatlanders from the third dimension. Regardless of their shape or size, they are all made up of the same things. Whitman believes everyone should be equal because everyone is made up of the same thing on the inside, atoms. What's on the outside isn't important. In his poem, grass represents democracy and equality. It also represents the cycle that we all go through. We're made up of atoms, we live, we reproduce, we die, we decompose, and then atoms form into new people. The second way can also be seen from his view of the grass. Woman believes it is unbelievable there is so much we don't understand, like what is the grass? He explains, something I cannot see puts upward libidinous prongs. Up, uh, down, and now I'm going to rise out of your world altogether. Where did you go? Where are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Because Flatland is two-dimensional, Flatlanders cannot see into the third dimension. They cannot grasp the concept of above, even though it's all around them. What direction is, is, is this third dimension? Up, down. A direction in which you cannot look, because you have no eye in your side. Oh, oh man, I'm insane. What have you done to me? Lifted you out of flatland, into reality. But what I saw, or sensed, or, or felt was that a dimension greater than yours existed. Just as I am to you, so must you be to someone else. If your dimension is greater and purer than mine, then there must be a fourth dimension even greater and purer than yours. Oh, good friend, philosopher, priest, don't you see what you've taught me? Some yet more spacious space, some more dimensionable dimensionality lies beyond this one. What if there is a fourth dimension that has answers to our life in it? We just can't see it, like people in the second dimension can't see those in the third dimension. I think Walt Whitman had a grasp on this.